Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. My name is Teresa. Are y'all like me in your home just really doesn't know what season it is? <laughs> Mine is so confused. It don't know if we're still in winter, if it's Valentine's, and I am in the, currently putting out some spring decor. So today I'm going to show y'all some ideas and some ways that we can decorate this time of the year just to kind of add some special touches to our home since winter is on its way out. So I hope y'all enjoy the video. One of the easiest things to refresh in your home is to change out your wall decor. And I've showed y'all in so many videos of how you can create very inexpensive wall decor and change it out for the seasons. In the next couple of projects, I'm going to give y'all some ideas and inspiration of how you can change out your wall decor and make some that's really inexpensive for springtime. I'm going to take this ice skate that I did for the winter season, and I'm going to take some of this scrapbook paper. I got a whole scrapbook from Wood Goodwill for 50-something cents, and I love the patina on this paper. So I'm just going to cut my paper down to size and using some good quality glue stick i'm just going to apply it i do work in sections and once i get it all on then i'm going to go over it with a brayer just to smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles now i absolutely love to decorate with rabbits so i'm going to take this iron orchid design rabbit stamp that i have and i will link it down below and i'm just going to use some black ink apply it to the stamp really well and then just lay it down on the paper now once this dries really well then i'm going to go in and i'm going to add a little bit of wording down below using a stencil that I already had on hand. I'm just gonna use part of the stencil was like I say, I just wanted a little bit of wording down at the bottom. But if you had something that says rabbit in French, the L-A-P-I-N, I think that would be great too. But I did replace the frame. I thought the white frame was just a little bit too modern for this primitive looking rabbit. So I put him in a more rustic frame. Now these little Scrabble letters you can pick up at Dollar General in their craft section. You get a whole package of them. And so you can just add a little bit more detail to it using these little inexpensive Scrabble letters. Now I'm going to give you some more ideas for some frames. Now these were the ones that I got at a yard sale and I paid a dollar or 50 cents for them. I do want to use the white one since it didn't work out for my rabbit, but I'm just going to do the same thing. I used the back of my frame and put some scrapbook paper on it. Using my glue stick, I'm going to apply a stencil to this one and I will have this stencil linked down below. I added some vintage inspired postcards that I made along with a vintage photo with some doilies. And now we've got a great vintage inspired piece that we can set out in our vignettes and we can leave this out for spring, summer, or really just all year long. When I decorate my home, I really enjoy mixing the new with secondhand or upcycled projects. This is a new piece that I just received and this is gonna be linked to my Amazon store. I love metal tin signs and this one I think is so appropriate for spring coming up. A couple of more projects that I'm upcycling to put in my home is these mirrors. Now I got these at a yard sale back in the fall and I paid $5 each. They are already painted in distress, but the person that painted them, they're kind of yellowed looking. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around with some white chalk paint and I'm gonna lightly go over them just to refresh the paint. Now I'm gonna take the back off because all I wanna do is remove the mirrors and just have the frame part. These are inexpensive frames and they're not even wood, they're plastic. But I do like the design on them and I'm gonna use these in my bedroom refresh. So stay tuned so you can see how I style them. Now I'm gonna show you another decor piece I just received from Amazon and this is these beautiful 
chunky beads. Now I love a beaded garland and I'm going to show you some ways of how we can style it and it makes a great versatile piece that we can put out for spring and summer. I also got this really big glass bottle. It's got a really nice galvanized metal band on it. I come across this at Goodwill and I only paid $1.99 for it. So I'm just going to now give you some styling tips on these really trendy glass bottles right now and how you can style these in a vignette with some of this beaded garland. If you are enjoying the video so far, I hope if you're not already, subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that like button and also share this with your family and friends. A couple more decor pieces that I recently purchased were a couple of accent chairs. Now I got this one from Amazon and this one you're going to see in just a minute and how I style it, but I put this one in my bedroom and this one right here I got for my family room. I shopped around, I read reviews, and I got some that I felt like were affordable and would fit my home the best. This one I placed in my family room over in a corner. This way when we have guests over, if we need extra seating, we can always pull this chair out. The other one I will show you in my bedroom refresh in just a minute. Single day. Today's video, y'all, is sponsored by Brooke Linen. Now, I don't know if y'all are familiar with Brooke Linen, but they are ranked in some of the, the list. Anytime you go out and you research bedding or sheets, the best, Brooke Linen will usually always come up in the list ranked in the top 10. And there's a reason why. Because they have a vast variety of fabrics and different kinds of sheets and bedding that will fit just about every sleeper's needs. I'm a hot sleeper. My husband, Ben, he's a cold sleeper. So I went with the Linen Hardcore Bed Bundle. And I don't know if you've ever slept on linen sheets before, but let me tell you, it is a great sleep experience. The bed bundle that I received, I got a duvet cover. So all I had to do once I received this was, the first thing I did was I threw it in the wash and I washed it and it washed up really well. Linen gets really soft and very airy. So if you are you are a hot sleeper, it conforms to your needs and keeps you cool at night. But if you're a cold sleeper, it also conforms to your needs and will keep you warm at night. All I did was I put my existing comforter inside this, it, the duvet cover. It has buttons on it. And you can see how, how light and airy it is. This um, bed bundle set that I got, it comes in different colors. I went with all white, but they also have one that's a really pretty pinstripe. So you can actually, when you go through their website and you pick out your bed bundle, you can actually mix and match your colors, you know, or in the design. So if you want to get like a ticking stripe um, sheet set and maybe a, just a solid color duvet cover, you can do that. And that is what's so great is you can kind of design your own bedding yourself. And I'm going to link all of their information down below in my description box. So make sure to go out to their website and check out all the bedding. And they, they actually have a vast array of all kinds of home decor products. And they're also offering my viewers $20 off if you use the promo code Our Green Acres, And you'll receive $20 off of a $100 order or more. In the bed bundle that I selected, I got a duvet cover, I got a fitted sheet and a flat sheet. I got these pillow covers and then I also got two additional pillow covers. So you actually get four pillow covers with this set. So that's actually the bed bundles are a great value for the money. When you go out and you go through their bed bundles, you can select through a different um, different types of fabrics you know they have other fabrics besides 
the um, the linen. But I have never experienced linen sheets, so I really wanted to try them, and we have been very pleased with these. So if you're looking for some really comfortable and nice bedding and sheets for your bed, I highly recommend Brook Linen. And like I say, I'm going to include all their information down below in my description box, but I don't think you'll be disappointed. I know we've been very happy with ours. And I wanted to show you the pillow covers are so easy. All the bedding is really easy to put on your bed, but your pillow covers, they're just like the slip on. And like I say, I'm a pillow person and I love pillows. So I've got some king size pillows. So with this set, I got both sides, sizes of pillowcases for my bed. I got the king size and then I got the standard. So that was the great part of the bed bundles is you can, like I say, you can kind of design your own bedding. So make sure to go out and check out their website. I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Just tell me. I'm going to show you some things that we added to my bedroom just to give it a little refresh from the winter and just slowly transition into springtime. I added that beautiful accent chair that we got at Amazon and I'll have all of this linked in my Amazon store. And also the chandelier was a $5 thrift find. We spray painted it for my daughter's wedding, but I hang it in different areas in my home. This way, if you have a ceiling fan over your bed like I do, you can still have a chandelier too. Just maximize your corners in your rooms. Make me smile. What is it that you and just to balance out both sides of my bed, I think these mirrors made the perfect touch to put on each side. So Ben's got one behind his nightstand and lamp, and so do I. I added back my cherry blossom wreath. I leave this out all season, but for Christmas and the winter season, I had another wreath up. So now I just hung this one back up just to add that subtle touch of spring. Now, don't forget, cowboy boots or cowgirl boots make a great vase for florals and greenery. I did this centerpiece for my daughter's wedding a couple years ago, and I have saved it and loved it ever since. These flowers that I have in here are some of my favorites. I've ordered several bouquets of these. These are linked in my Amazon store and come in an assortment of colors. I just want you, I just need you. I don't know what it is you do. I just want you. I also want to show you how beautiful these chunky beads are displayed in a, a basket. You can put these in so many areas of your home and they add just another great detail. I also want to show you another great idea for spring is to wrap some white garland around something that you have. White garland can be used all year long and I save this from Christmas. And here I just want to show you how pretty the chunky beads are in white. These are also in my Amazon store but these make great additions to add in to your, to your displays. Just add another touch of neutral decor. Another new addition that I've added to my spring collection is this Chippy Swan. I featured him in my video last week, but he's also in my Amazon store. But I just put him on my dresser along with a thrifted lantern with some candlesticks that I upcycled. Also, the bed skirt that is on my bed in the wheat color, that is in my Amazon store. This makes a great bed skirt that goes over your whole bed and goes to the floor. I think it goes so well with my Brooklinen duvet cover. I also want to mention, because I get so many questions after my videos when I display my, my rooms in my home, is our wall color, but it is called Resort Tan. We got it at Lowe's, and it's by Sherwin-Williams.
Now I'm going to give you some more ideas of some really inexpensive and fun DIY projects to work on that make great decor pieces. I've got these frames at a yard sale and I pay 50 cents each for them. I've got some new spring release transfers that I'm absolutely loving and I'm going to link these down below. But you get three sheets of these. They're very affordable. They're all less than $20. But they've got some great colors this year and I've been featuring them in my videos and using them on my projects. But I wanted to put something on these burlap uh, little frames here and these transfers work perfect. Both of these transfers, this one is from the Vintage Labels um, transfers. These are some of the older ones, but I have got two sets of these. I loved them so much. I got another set. But y'all, there are so many transfers included with these, so you get a lot of transfers for the money. But I'm just going to apply these. They kind of, to me, they scream flowers and gardening, and they just scream spring. So I added those to the to the burlap background of these frames and transfers go on fabric very well. So now I'm just gonna style these for you and just, you know, just give you inspiration of ideas of how you can take some simple transfers, apply them to some frames, and we got some beautiful decor now that we can set out for spring and summer. Now I'm going to show you another decor piece that I scored at Goodwill, and y'all only paid 99 cents for this. Is this not the cutest little thing? And really, woven jars this year are really on trend. So all I'm going to do is add some Dollar Tree roses to this. I put a little hang tag on it. I made this in a previous video, and this just goes so well to set out now with all of our little bunnies and our rabbits. Another great decor piece that I recently picked up while out thrifting is this half cathedral. This makes a great accent piece to put on top of wall decor or just in a place that you may need something just to add a little bit of texture and detail. I only paid $5.99 for it. I went over and freshened it up with some white chalk paint and then I displayed this in my kitchen up under my open shelving. Okay, y'all, we are again at the end of the video, so my time with y'all is up for the week. I know, it is so sad, but I will hopefully be back next week with a brand new video, and I hope y'all enjoyed seeing the touches of spring that I've added to my home so far, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and follow me on all the social media because there's a lot of spring content coming your way. Please subscribe to my channel. Make sure to like if you liked the video today and make sure to share it out with your family and friends. I truly appreciate it. Do not forget to go out and check out Brooklinen. Make sure to check out my description box for a link to their website and also use my promo code. As always, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye y'all.